why the upcoming housing crash will be worse than 2008. As the housing market shows signs of strain, many experts are raising concerns that the upcoming crash could surpass the devastation of the 2008 financial crisis. Falling property values, a large number of foreclosures, and a worldwide economic slump brought on by a housing bubble and reckless financial activities characterized the 2008 meltdown. But the current situation is much riskier, with a number of variables coming together to form the ideal storm. A number of factors including rising interest rates, a history of reckless lending, ongoing inflation, and excessive property prices might make the looming crisis worse. In contrast to 2008, a new wave of highly indebted purchasers and a speculative frenzy that has skyrocketed property prices are the distinguishing features of the current market. The housing sector is becoming more and more susceptible as economic uncertainty increases and global markets respond. We will examine seven important factors in this analysis that could make the impending housing catastrophe worse than the one that came before it. We will examine the distinct and interrelated risks that could influence the next housing slump, from the effects of aggressive interest rate hikes to the aftermath from inflation and speculative bubbles. It is imperative that politicians, investors, and homeowners alike comprehend these dynamics as we prepare for what could be a stormy future in the housing market. 1. Higher Household Debt Amounts The historically high amount of household debt is one of the main variables influencing how severe the impending housing meltdown is expected to be. American household debt, which includes credit card debt, school loans, and mortgages, has skyrocketed since the financial crisis of 2008. Over $17 trillion in household debt was owed as of 2024, with home debt accounting for a sizable amount of that sum. A home market slump can be sparked by financial shocks like increased interest rates or job losses, which can make households with high debt levels more susceptible to them. The rise in debt is not exclusive to the United States. Numerous other nations have also witnessed comparable patterns. For instance, Canada has some of the highest household debt levels in the world, primarily as a result of inflated real estate prices. This increased debt load may increase the number of defaults and foreclosures, which would worsen the collapse of the property market. 2. Rising interest rates and inflation Due to a confluence of factors including heightened consumer demand, supply chain disruptions, and geopolitical unrest, inflation has risen to levels not seen in decades. Central banks such as the Federal Reserve have aggressively hiked interest rates in an effort to stabilize the economy in response to inflation. Prospective purchasers find housing less cheap as a result of rising interest rates, which also raise mortgage payments. This change not only reduces demand but also increases the burden on current variable rate mortgage holders. Homeowners may find it difficult to make larger monthly payments when interest rates rise, which might result in more defaults and foreclosures. In comparison to 2008, when interest rates were comparatively lower, this dynamic has the potential to further drive down property prices and contribute to a more severe market catastrophe. 3. Financial Institutions With Too Much Debt Overleveraged financial institutions have grown in number in the years after the 2008 financial crisis. Even if rules have been more stringent since the financial crisis, there are still worries regarding the banking industry's stability. Risky lending techniques and investments have been adopted by numerous banks and financial institutions, especially in the high-yield and speculative markets. In the case of a housing downturn, financial institutions' excessive leverage presents a serious risk. A credit crisis might result from banks suffering significant losses on their mortgage holdings in the event of a rapid decline in property values. The fact that many financial institutions have continued to engage in hazardous practices such as increasing their exposure to high-risk mortgages and other financial instruments might make the situation worse. These practices were prevalent prior to the 2008 financial crisis. 4. Bubble Dynamics and Housing Market Speculation all of the typical warning indicators of a speculative bubble are present in the current housing market. An unsustainable situation is being created by rapidly rising property prices which are being driven by a combination of cheap mortgage rates, active investor activity, and a shortage of available homes. Due to speculative frenzy, property prices have increased much above what is warranted by basic economic metrics such as wage growth and household income. Such bubbles are historically typified by an overvaluation that eventually bursts when speculative demand goes away. The current market's unrelenting and quick price gains raise the possibility of a major correction happening soon. A sharp decline in property values can result in widespread negative equity, a situation in which homeowners owe more on their mortgages than their homes are worth. Underwater mortgages frequently result in further foreclosures and a decline in consumer confidence, which might worsen the housing crisis and start a wider economic downturn. Thus, the dynamics of this speculative bubble represent a real risk that may even outweigh the consequences of earlier housing market collapses. 5. Dying Accessibility to the Market and Affordability 
The affordability of housing has drastically declined recently, especially in large cities. Rising living expenses and stagnating wages have made homeownership unaffordable for a large number of prospective buyers. There is an especially acute affordability challenge among younger generations and first-time homebuyers. There will probably be less demand for homes as affordability deteriorates, which will further drive down prices. The absence of easily accessible and reasonably priced housing options may cause the housing market to slow down and worsen the effects of any ensuing slump. Many homeowners suffered greatly as a result of the 2008 meltdown, but the present affordability issue may worsen the effects by reducing the number of available distressed properties and narrowing the pool of potential buyers. Sticks Evolution of housing preferences and demographic shifts A number of important variables are contributing to the approaching housing crisis including changing housing choices and demographic shifts. As the population ages, shifting patterns of household formation are reshaping the demand for housing. After experiencing financial difficulties and growing student loan debt, millennials are now starting to buy homes, but because of their changing lifestyles and concerns about costs, they frequently choose rental homes or other types of alternative living arrangements. The generational divide may lead to an imbalance in the supply and demand of homes. For instance, the demand for smaller and more inexpensive apartments or rental properties may be rising while the supply of conventional single-family homes may be oversupplied. Similarly, an excess of larger homes on the market might further destabilize housing values as the baby boomer population downsizes or moves into retirement communities. The housing market is unbalanced as a result of these demographic trends and shifting consumer preferences, which raises the possibility of price drops and greater market volatility, which might exacerbate the effects of the predicted housing catastrophe. 7. Geopolitical Risks and Worldwide Economic Uncertainty the vulnerabilities of the housing market are being exacerbated by geopolitical concerns and global economic uncertainty, which is complicating the market's future course. The housing industry is significantly impacted by ongoing trade disputes, geopolitical crises, and economic instability in many parts of the world. These kinds of uncertainty can dramatically change investor sentiment and lead to more volatility. Instability that results from deteriorating global economic conditions or rising geopolitical tensions can have a significant effect on housing and other financial sectors. Due to the interdependence of today's global economy, events in one area might have a swift and widespread impact, which could lead to a coordinated decline in housing markets across the globe. The interconnectedness of risks in this climate raises questions about how resilient the housing market is since global political and economic unrest may amplify whatever vulnerabilities already present and cause a more catastrophic and pervasive housing crash than has been seen in the past. Conclusion It's critical to comprehend the complex dangers that could exacerbate this downturn beyond the magnitude of the 2008 disaster as we prepare for the probable housing meltdown. An environment that is complicated and volatile is created by the combination of factors such as rising interest rates, a return of hazardous lending practices, persistent inflation, skyrocketing housing prices, overleveraged purchasers, economic uncertainty, and speculative market activity. The possibility of a large market correction is increased by all of these factors together, and this could have far-reaching effects on investors, homeowners, and the whole economy. The significance of alertness and readiness in the face of such possible disruption is highlighted by the lessons learned from previous crises. Investors and homeowners should enter the market cautiously, carefully evaluating their financial situations and taking the overall economic environment into account. It is imperative for policymakers and financial institutions to maintain a proactive stance in monitoring market conditions and putting safeguards in place to limit the possible impact of a crisis. Even if the future is still unknown, being ready and knowledgeable can help you overcome any obstacles that may arise. Individuals and institutions can better position themselves to weather the storm and emerge resilient in the face of economic upheaval by comprehending the forces at play and making plans appropriately. Let us know in the comments what you think about why the upcoming housing crash will be worse than 2008 and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more captivating content on our YouTube channel.